are at St. Lucie South Campgrounds and we're going to be checking out some of the areas. For example, they have a boat ramp that you can bring your own boat. They have even pavilions that you can rent out. These are the three RV sites that are right next to the water. And they even have tent sites that are right next to the water you can camp out as you see here. They even have a solar charging station. And these are the other campsites just across from the others. They have some cool yachts that come through this waterway. Now we're at the dam, Lock and Dam. And this is pretty cool to see. It's like the miniature Panama Canal. Some nice million dollar yachts that come through this waterway. There they go. 14 feet in difference in elevation and here's a spillway oh we need to check this out all right guys we're here with chris and this guy's a local fisherman has been here for 40 plus years he's going to give you some tips about this place so chris what can you tell us if you come down here and it's running make sure you come down first thing in the morning it opens at seven o'clock and it closes at 4 30. But if you, uh, if you come down here, make sure you fish down the low side. You don't need access to the to this, uh, locks anymore. But the best time to come after is, is uh, after it rains a lot. It's been raining a lot. A lot of big snook, tarpon. Um, but first, you know, try to get here first thing in the morning. But later in the afternoon, it kind of slows down. But I usually throw plugs and uh, fish the current and just try to figure out where they're at. Gotcha. Well, there you go, guys. You got some tips. So if you're ever down here, make sure you come and fish on this side of the locks. This is a beautiful area. Now we're on the north side of the locks where they have some nice trail. This is a good fishing spot, by the way, for snook. They even got fire pits. And this is the primitive campsite in this area. Now, this is the trails that you guys can take either by bike or walk in, however you want. Pretty cool trails. They even have some benches along the trails and there's actually a pavilion in the middle so you can rest up a bit. The next trail here is where things start getting interesting. So could today be the day we finally see his face? There's only one way to find out. Stick around until the end of the video and we just might get a glimpse. Even the dog has a life vest. This creature sneaking into the backside of the visitor center. All right, this might be it. I think we're finally about to see his face. I guess he's freaking out here a little bit. Joe's not aware. Oh, he's aware now. He just passed out. It's interesting how he's interested in the stuffed animals. Very curious, isn't he? Oh, you didn't like that. Like the paw of a bear. Oh, he's not liking what he's seeing. Littlefoot's heading Joe. next. Should I follow him? Joe. Joe, you're so brave. I got rid of him for you. And we're safe now. Mwah. Oh, did you get rid of that thing? Whatever that thing was, you got rid of it for me? 
What would you do if you saw a mystery creature like this in the wild? Comment below. Should we reveal his face or keep the mystery alive? Turns out maybe some mysteries are better left unsolved. We would like to hear your suggestions for future video ideas involving Littlefoot. I read every comment so let me know your thoughts below. Hi, I hope you had a lot of fun watching our video. We here at St. Lucie South Campgrounds enjoy having fun. Our hosts always enjoy a good time. All kidding aside now, we'd like you to visit our campgrounds and see all the activities and the things that take place here at St. Lucie South Campground. We have nine RV sites, eight boat slips, and three tent sites. And while you're here camping, you'll have to go to our visitor center. Our visitor center explains everything about the locks, our foliage that is native to Florida, our wildlife, and the history of the locks. If you are 62 and over, you can apply for the America the Beautiful Pass, which gives you a 50% discount for U.S. Army Corps campgrounds. We have a boat ramp, so you can bring your boat. We have a, sh a shower house, and we also have a dump station. And if you want a family gathering or just get together as a group, we have a pavilion that you can rent out for the afternoon or for the day. RV 1, 2, and 3 are waterfront sites. The three tent sites are also on the St. Lucie South Waterway. We also have primitive camping on the north side of St. Lucie South campgrounds. But with that, you have to contact our rangers to get permission to go there to camp. The Army Corps of Engineers takes water safety seriously. That is why you saw Littlefoot wearing a life vest when he was kayaking. We ask all our boaters when they use our boat ramp to please make sure they're wearing life vests when they're out on the water. As the rangers would say, life jackets worn, nobody mourns. Are you all right? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> what <time? laughs> That's okay. You can do that. No, it's not okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you can't go to the water all day. <laughs> Joe, those... <laughs> You'll never make it to TV. Ooh. <laughs> Joe, you're so brave, honey. Skip but you didn't shit. save me. <laughs> Wake up. 